Welcome to this short video presentation by NAHT Assure. NAHT Assure is a school and academy support service developed in partnership with Strictly Education. The video is aimed at head teachers and school business managers who know that they're responsible for asbestos management in their school or academy, but are unsure as to exactly what their responsibilities and obligations are. In around four minutes, we'll take you through your key responsibilities and the practical steps that need to be taken to meet all your obligations and to protect your staff and pupils. We'll also indicate where you can go for further support. The video has been created in response to NAHT members' responses to the recent asbestos survey. In a recent NAHT survey of 1,278 head teachers across both primary and secondary schools and academies, 43% had given their staff neither written instruction or training. 31% had no plan to follow if asbestos was to be disturbed. What is the bottom line for you as a school or academy leader? Where budgets for building management have been delegated, then the head teacher becomes a shared duty holder and is responsible for following the asbestos management policies and procedures set out by their local authority. So, in a nutshell, if you don't follow these policies and procedures, then it could result in your prosecution should someone in your care get hurt as a result of asbestos disturbance. NAHT Assure is here to help you understand your responsibilities and help you fulfil your responsibilities. Your obligations can be explained in five clear steps. 1. Conduct a survey. Firstly, you need to find out if your premises contain any asbestos-containing materials. This will involve organising a non-intrusive survey by a trained and certified asbestos expert. Two. Produce a register. After the survey has been conducted, you need to produce a register of where all the asbestos containing materials are. This is important so that you have an up-to-date record to refer to and can quickly use it to inform anyone as to where asbestos containing materials are on the premises. 3. Undertake a risk assessment. It's only when asbestos is disturbed that it can become a lethal problem and therefore it's important to understand the risk of disturbance for all contaminated areas. For every area, a risk assessment should be carried out to determine the controls that need to be put in place to minimise the risk to your staff, pupils, visitors and contractors. 4. Remove high-risk areas. If there are any identified areas that are deemed high-risk, then you should organise for their removal as soon as is practically possible. 5. Produce a plan. To manage the ongoing risk, you need to produce a plan that includes the following components. Train and appoint staff within the school or academy leadership. Devise an action plan to follow if asbestos containing materials are disturbed. Inform and train all staff members on where the asbestos is and how to avoid disturbing it. Ensure that all external contractors working on the premises are informed of the asbestos plan and have the necessary training and insurance in place. Finally, you need to regularly review and update the plan. Hopefully, this video has given you the guidance and steps to follow to meet your asbestos responsibilities. If you need additional support, NAHT Assure offers an unlimited health and safety help desk service, as well as an integrated asbestos software training solution for your staff, which can assist you at each of the five steps to make sure you're fulfilling your duty holder responsibilities. The training module allows on-demand, self-paced training for school staff and provides automatic tracking of their completion of the training. The help desk and online training services are available from only £60 a month. Please call 0845 519 7001 or email helpdesk at nahtassure.co.uk for further information.